Good morning class 10 and welcome to the new academic session 2021. So first and foremost I would like to tell you about the syllabus of environmental science. Uh, environmental science in class 10 we have 10 chapters in total right so your question paper regarding your question paper there are two sections okay section a is objective which carries 40 marks section b is subjective that also carries 40 marks okay so that means for the objective section the entire textbook is covered the, all the 10 chapters are covered and even for the subjective it is not bifurcated into sections so all the chapters mixed together you get six questions out of which you need to attempt any four so your question paper is out of 80 marks and 20 marks is project and practical work about which I will be discussing later okay so we have to do 80 marks theory section A objective is 40 and section B subjective is also 40 right so what we will do today in the first class we will start with chapter 1 that is controlling air pollution what methods can be adopted to control the pollution of air what are the reasons behind domestic air pollution industrial air pollution how those problems can be mitigated what solutions can be adopted to purify the air all these things have been discussed in chapter one right so controlling air pollution first and foremost the question that comes in ICSE is about natural air pollution and man-made air pollution so most of the time you are asked to write anthropogenic sources of pollution the meaning of anthropogenic is man-made okay when man does something that is called anthropogenic sources of pollution so pollution can be divided into two ways one is natural that cannot be prevented it occurs on its own so the air gets polluted the second one is man-made so you have to know that 90 percent of the pollution that is happening throughout the globe is man-made it is anthropogenic right and 10 percent of the pollutants are natural now if you are asked natural sources of air pollution how does the air get polluted naturally so there are some things that occur naturally and they pollute the air so the under natural sources of air pollution volcanoes when volcanoes erupt it is not under our control volcanic eruption is not under our control so when volcanoes erupt they do pollute the air to some extent then we can also talk of forest fires forest fires this is also a natural occurrence when in the dry season the dry trees strike against each other it gives rise to forest fire so you must have heard about the amazonian forest fire which occurred in 2019 you must have heard what happened in brazil so these forest fires when they occur huge amount of smoke carbon dioxide is liberated and that also pollutes the air right then we can also talk of sandstorms or dust storms so when the wind is blowing when the velocity of wind is very very high then we have dust storms or sand storms that also pollutes the air so this comes under natural beyond man's control you cannot control this pollution so natural if you are asked in your examination write two natural sources of air pollution it is volcanoes forest fire dust storm or sand storm okay then comes the anthropogenic that is man-made so you all know about this man-made sources of air pollution so under man-made sources of air pollution we can talk of industries which are definitely set up by man you can talk about factories which are set up by man there are vehicles the vehicular pollution all 
these come under man-made sources of air pollution. So who constructed the industries? Uh, to, for the manufacture of products, it, it was done by us, right? So industries which manufacture products, commodities, they liberate a lot of pollution into the air. Then factories are there, vehicles are there, burning of fossil fuel. When we are burning coal or petroleum or diesel or natural gas, all these things leads to maximum pollution in the air. So they liberate carbon dioxide, methane gases, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, all these gases go up into the air, they contaminate the air and ultimately it is man who is affected. Okay, so the first part of your chapter is about natural and man-made sources of air pollution. Right? So I have given you the examples, I will be sending you the notes also for better understanding. Then the next topic talks of rural areas and domestic combustion. So especially domestic combustion meaning in the village areas, especially in countries like India, what are the rural women using to cook their food? They are using firewood. Okay, they are using dung cakes, cakes which are made by the dung of animals. That is used, basically firewood is used and a woman stays in close proximity to the furnace, to the chulha and she cooks her food and the smoke which is liberated is affecting her own health. So, ICSE also asks questions about domestic combustion and how do we mitigate this problem? How do we overcome this problem of domestic combustion? Right? So I'm telling you again in the village areas when we see the Indian villages, how do the women cook their food? They use firewood or dung cakes and this liberates large amount of smoke. Right? So what what are the two solutions or three solutions to save the life of a woman in the village area? Now, the government has come up with a plan also to reduce pollution and also to save the health of the rural women. We have come up with a furnace which is called smokeless chulhas. Okay, this is called smokeless chulhas. So, you must have seen this maybe. What is a smokeless chulha that has that the government has come up with in the rural areas? It's a chulha, it's a furnace which you understand. Smokeless. Why do we call, call it smokeless? Is because this particular furnace or chulha has a chimney attached to it. So the women use firewood, okay? They use the firewood, but the smoke does not come and affect their health. They do not inhale the smoke. The smoke goes out of the kitchen via the chimney. So the health of the rural woman is protected like this. So the ICSE has been asking questions, how do we mitigate this problem of domestic combustion in the village areas? So one commodity is by using smokeless chulhas, right? Another thing that the government is trying to make available is kerosene. We are trying to provide kerosene in the village areas at a subsidized rate, at a very low rate so that the women can cook their food on kerosene and definitely firewood is saved. Okay, firewood, you don't have to cut down trees if you are using kerosene, if you allow the people to use kerosene at a low rate, then they will stop cutting down the trees and they will stop using firewood. Okay, so we are traving, saving the trees on one side, we are preventing the burning of firewood, we are preventing pollution and we are saving the lives of the village women also. So one is smokeless chulha, one is making kerosene available or some alternative fuel some kind of fuel like uh, solar energy is there. We are trying to advertise this, teach people about this in the village areas so they, they can start using solar energy so that solar panels are there, solar cookers are there where you are where you're just using the energy from the sun to cook your food, to heat your water and it is zero pollution. It does not contaminate the air, right? So this is what can be done in the village areas. Now, what can we do to say, uh, prevent pollution in the urban areas? 
there are a lot of factors. The most important factor that uh, creates pollution in the, in the urban area is industry industries and factories these are the uh, these are the commodities that are creating the maximum air pollution in the urban areas so we have come up with technological measures we have come up with such technologies that can prevent pollution from industries too right so before that the simple things that the urban people can do uh, to prevent pollution domestically what we can do in our houses what we can do we are also living in urban area what can we do in our urban places like we can use a solar cooker we can use solar panels we can use a chimney fixed in the kitchen so that pollution is prevented and uh, the health of a woman is not affected in the urban area this is about domestic combustion so saving the rural as well as the lives of the urban women right so and uh, when we go to the next uh, topic that is industrial pollution now when you get your textbook you please read i will be sending you the notes also industrial pollution the smoke you must have seen an industry there is a chimney which lets out black smoke into the environment and that is a huge contaminant it pollutes the air okay it affects your health so now today we have come up with technological strategy what's the meaning of that we have installed machines inside the industry that will capture the pollutant and prevent the pollution from reaching the air like let me make it simple for you we use a vacuum cleaner at home okay so the, your house is very dirty you use a vacuum cleaner that is a device that is a technological measure you what do we do with the vacuum cleaner the vacuum cleaner this particular machine it traps all the dust particles from your house it cleans your house and all the dust particle goes inside the machine and later what do we do there is a fabric bag if you open that machine you will see that a lot of dust has gone inside that fabric bag so what do we do with that dust we don't spread it inside the house again we definitely uh, dispose it off in a safe manner so you have to understand here that even inside the industry we have installed machines which are like uh, vacuum cleaners they function like vacuum cleaners so if the, if uh, you consider a room as an industry where machines are functioning and pollution instead of going out from the chimney now what we have done is the uh, machines are installed inside the industry one machine will trap the dust particle another machine will trap the carbon dioxide another machine will trap the uh, harmful acids that are coming out from the fumes so different machines have different functions electrostatic precipitators one machine fabric filter wet scrubber venturi scrubber there are different machines you have to know the names of the machines and which pollutant they trap so when you get your textbook please go through page 10 in your textbook you will see the pictures of all the machines and the functions of what these particular machines do or what they trap so if the machines trap all the pollutants inside what will happen the harmful smoke is prevented from going out into the air so if the harmful air uh, pollutant does not go into the air the air does not get polluted if the air does not get polluted your health and my health will remain safe this is called technological strategy this is what we are doing to prevent pollution from industries okay then in the next lecture i will discuss with you how we can prevent vehicular pollution the pollution that goes out from the vehicles how we can prevent vehicular pollution i will discuss in my next lecture okay thank you class